Guys, welcome back to episode two of the show of everything. This is where we talk about everything, hence the name, the show of everything. Today, I'm joined by two of my cousins. Sam Fry. And George Fry with brothers. Yes, they are brothers. And we're going to be talking, this is our first news episode. Last episode, we talked about Mr. Beast. Um, <laughs> in this episode, so we're going to be covering the Olympics. New malaria or whatever. Tablets and the hottest they ever recorded. Okay, so Olympics. Mm-hmm. So the Olympics, well, as as of recording, they start in two days. Explain what it is first. The Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, if, if any of you guys don't know what the Olympics is, um, I think you might live under a rock or maybe a piece of grass. Um, so the Olympics is basically where. People compete together for either bronze, silver, or gold medals to, like, represent their country. Yeah, yeah. and it's just loads of different sports. Yeah, there's, so like, like, like... Javelin falling? Is that skilling? Javelin? What is Javelin? Yeah. Well, it's, like, the da- the 100-meter dash, stuff like that, you know? Yeah. It's basically a big sports event. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So, you're probably rooting for America? Yeah. Uh, you never know. You can get sick. America or England? Definitely no, not England. Why? Oh, fine. Because I live in America. Okay. So the Olympics are being held in France this year. Yes. Um. Uh-huh. Who held it last year? What? Uh, really? Was it like Japan, Tokyo? So yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. The opening ceremony ceremony is at seven thirty p.m. or ten thirty a.m. For you guys in LA, just saying, who's watching this in LA? <laughs> if you are, subscribe. Uh, and it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, two thirty p.m. in Rio de Janeiro, <laughs> six thirty p.m. in London, and eight thirty in Athens. If any of you guys are watching, from yep. Athens. If you are, subscribe, of course, <laughs> of course. Um, especially if you live in Athens. And it's um, on the twenty sixth of July, yeah. which is gonna be two days from now. But it'll probably be. Later but like, no, no, no. But, so you guys, I'm just so excited. Like so many good sports. And also. What what event are you most looking forward to? Um, hundred meter dash. Same. It's the most well known. Yeah, it's the most well known. I'm kind of looking forward to like some of the slightly niche ones, like yeah, like skateboarding, like, trying, confi- like mm. skateboarding. No, they even move skateboarding. No, no, no. You no, guys, no, you that twenty thirteen. Um, whatever. Oh my god, surfing, surfing. I she just like surfing so good. Wait, where is it again? It's in Paris. Paris. Yeah. yeah. But th- how do they do surfing in Paris? Yeah. Do they go somewhere oh, else? Oh, no, they go to the south of France. They have really big waves there. Uh, yeah, isn't that near Port School? There's also a place in Port School. Yeah, well, no, you're not going to go there. It's too far. Well, you know, France has loads of overseas territories. That's yeah. very true, because they have one in, like, South America, or that's Spain. Uh, uh, yeah. France and Spain are quite similar. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. um, so, I'm looking forward to the 100 meter sprint. Yeah, um, 200 mm-hmm. meter. No um, one really looks forward to that. When yeah. I watched the Olympic trials for the swimming, mm-hmm. the swimming, like, I don't know, they swim like a kilometer or something. Oh, yeah, it's and like, one guy just like crushed everyone else. Everyone, he was like, let's see, two laps. No, this year. He was like a la- two laps oh. ahead of everyone God. in the trials, like, to get into the Olympics. Oh, because that's some bad people. Did he go on to win it? No, yeah, I know he did. Yeah, win. he mm-hmm. won the trials. Yeah, so okay. that means he's like it's almost like if Michael Phelps did it. Who's Michael Phelps? So Sorry, I might live under a rock here. Who's Michael Phelps? <laughs> um, he's uh, a wrestler. Uh, yeah, it's ever. basically. So you guys, like, um, we just want to ask you: if you were not ten, what do you think you'll be doing at the age of ten? Do you think you'll be competing in the Olympics? Because, um. There are people in the Olympics who are 10 years old. Really? Are they, no way. I mean, are they going to actually go in the proper? Way? Yeah, no, 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 I think they were no, qualifying. No, Paralympics, I think it's Paralympics. No, also, but oh, there, were no. Pe- there were people qualifying who were 10 years old. People tried to qualify for the no, main Olympics. And they were quite good. So, like, they only exist in yeah. qualify. Yeah, and also, you know, Sky Brown, oh. she's a 14 year old who's once. She was young, maybe one of the youngest ever skaters to win. Because it helps her with 
<laughs> kind of a change of subject because it helps her with like backflips and stuff. Did you know Simone Biles is only like four foot one or something? What Maybe no. it's five foot one. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, but four she's four like one. really Sandside. short. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be going for an ad break. See you afterwards. Okay. So that was our ad break. I know there's no ad because I haven't unlocked monetization yet because I don't have enough watch hours. Don't say this every single time. Okay, sorry. Um, um, but if we say ad break and then there's no ad, it's kind of kind of bad. Right? Um, let's see. Okay. Um. So in the news, so recently, well, like very recently, 23rd of July, they have found a vaccine for malaria and it hopefully will save thousands and thousands of young lives all over africa was there not a malaria vaccine before no oh, no, no, no but like is this just an improved one i think like... no they were tablets they prevented it but oh. like if you get it now oh those malaria tablets are so annoying and by the way if you don't know what a malaria tablet is it's basically um, this tablet that you have to take if you go to like, tablets, they give you this disease no central africa kind of yeah place. so basically by the coasts in africa mm-hmm um they're mosquitoes that take it. They give you disease called a malaria. Yes, yeah, so you have to take tablets to prevent it. But people by the coast of Africa can't afford it. Sometimes can't. Most, yeah. Yeah. So I think the vaccination. These will be a lot cheaper. Yes. Like the vaccination, oh yeah, will stop. And also, they won't be used to swim tablets. Yeah, you guys. So yeah. the World Health Organization yeah, so I went to is aiming to get a 75% success rate at preventing it. So, yeah. so I went to um africa to see them when they lived in africa for two years kenya my cousins in kenya Us? and uh we i had to take when we went to the beach i had to take these tablets and they were like super annoying to swallow so the vaccine it would be better because i think getting a shot is a lot easier than taking a tablet every day and also the salt is permanent uh, you only do it once is it permanent um, no, I think it's like the flu shot. I think you do it like every year. No, maybe not every year. Yeah, maybe a little. Well, like the yeah. tetanus shot, you get it every like 10 years or whatever. I don't know. Tetanus. I'm 11 and I haven't had it twice. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, what's happened is Co- Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire. I just, yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. Ames is, is the first place, country to actually authorize it. And, like, Wait, is that Ivory Coast a country? Isn't it yeah, well, like no, a it's also Cote d'Ivoire. No, Cote d'Ivoire. It's, it's a Cote country. d'Ivoire is a country. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, some more news. Uh, actually, no. We're going to go back to the ad break. So, yeah. Back from our non existent ad break. Um, uh, so, the uh, n- recent news, like basically, there's a month, five hours ago, really. Um, five hours ago? Scientists record the hottest day ever in history. And it was a Monday, the uh, 22nd of July. And it was 17.15 so the degrees the daily Celsius. global average temperature. So, like, on Monday, in the world, the average temperature was the hottest it's ever been. It was 17.15 degrees Celsius, which is 0.06 degrees higher than the previous record of Sunday, which was just the day before, which proves that climate change is a big well, thing no not necessarily well it's more common it's now. proving that there's like more heat waves around yeah. quite a lot of and both the temperatures break the previous record of 17.08 degrees celsius on the 6th of july 2023 so it turns out july is the hottest month yeah, yeah that makes sense i think yeah. i thought it would be august Cause august no, is a bit no, no, cooler because no. it kind of it depends in the world where it is yeah because uh, July on Australia is like cold, but then July North. in like the, but Europe. North, uh, Northern Hemisphere has the most land, yeah. so it can be affected. That's on, true. Does it account for oceans, like above the oceans? Yeah, I don't. Um, no. Only where they have like testing things. No, yeah. probably because like, well, they, how do they do it if they, if they do it somewhere where they don't have tests? And also, seventeen point five. Celsius though. I know. Still, it feels kind of beautiful. But like the global average, that's like. If you take the averages True. from like Europe, but then you also, time. but you yeah. also take the averages from Antarctica. Yeah. Cause so that's it's actually pretty hot. Oh yeah. Cause it's probably Antarctica. like twenty. And in Antarctica, it's too long. What is that? Which is summer. So this is this is heat wave. This is like um okay. So 
we have a okay. map here and it shows like the heat and it's very interesting how it's like mainly like just like on the equator and then like it really slowly mm -hmm. so. yeah so basically the equator just is well of just, course the equator is yeah. the hottest because if you think about the way the earth tilts with the seasons the equator is like kind of yeah. hot like all the time yeah i, I think it's in jungle for me uh, my dad's a geography teacher, so I'm just gonna say I know know what it means. He knows everything. <laughs> um, yes, I'm sorry. Um, mm -hmm. well, um, so that was well, a it proves climate change. But you know, apparently, like twenty percent or more of America don't believe in climate change or something. I yeah. know. I don't. I don't, don't get that. Blame Donald yeah, Trump. because. The Trump calling. Yes, in every Shut single up, guys, guys. Every We're single not, episode right. we've done, we've talked about Donald Trump and how. <laughs> we've done one episode. We've done two episodes. <laughs> China, four hundred percent. Donald Trump talking weight. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think. I think the time might be up. No, we so we can. No. Okay. okay, we have bit more time. Yeah. Sorry, so, no, 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 you guys. The time is up. Yeah. So okay, um, time's up. See Bye. you later. Bye.